Hey everyone, it's Dominique from Blogging My Undies, and today I wanted to talk about something a bit weird. Um, maybe it's weird to you, but it's kind of weird to me. Anyway, um, I wanted to tell you that I'm going to stop reading to the A-man. It is absolutely pointless in reading to him, word for word, what is written on the page, because he doesn't necessarily understand what I'm saying, and for him, he's constantly pushing the book away, or he's flipping pages, so nothing is understood whatsoever. So instead, what I'm doing is I'm getting the A-man to tell me the story. So for example, books that are very simple, with very short sentences like Peppa the Pig, The Fire Engine, as an example. Milo's here beside me. He wants attention. He really wants attention. Yeah. Anyway, so these are pretty complicated sentences. I mean, he doesn't know his alphabet yet. He just doesn't seem to have any interest whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, he can sort of recognize his own name now, but that has taken quite a while. Um, but because there's really big pictures, and because I read relatively quickly, and I try to get him to point things out, like, okay, ring, ring, the fire phone is ringing. Where's the phone, eh, man? And then I would get him to point out where the phone is. So now that we have this kind of system in place that he tells me what's going on in the best way that he can, it's been making reading much more enjoyable. Uh, for books that have more text, smaller text even, but lots of pictures, we just get him to, or I just get him, to uh, point out what's going on. So if he were to look at this, he would be like, okay, blue train, and then boy and girl, dog, elephant, or maybe he would say norsu in Finnish. And then he would ask, like, oh, it's dusty. He calls airplanes dusty. He's starting to say airplane a little bit more. But, um, for example, he would, you know, maybe point at the giraffes and say, what's that, mummy? What's that? And this is an excellent opportunity to tell and teach him new words. So that's how we've been teaching reading for him. I mean, he's not quite ready for alphabet yet, I don't think. Uh, it's something I'll have to discuss with his speech therapist once he's signed up with one. Uh, the current speech therapist that we have uh, for the V-man, she's actually moved out of town quite far away, so we'll be switching to a new one, and she will also take on A-man as one of her clients as well. Uh, books the A-man also likes, and I also adore, the Sandra Boynton books. They're my absolute favorite. They mostly all rhyme. Super cute cartoons. And for example, this one is called Snuggle Puppy, a little love song. And the sentences are really short. So the A-man has the tolerance and the patience for these super short sentences, as opposed to longer ones, like the Peppa Pig book, and also you know, sentences that seem like they're never ending. So that's how we've been teaching him to read, and every night we try and get one book into their, you know, reading habit before bed, and it seems to make a difference. Uh, tonight, he picked the little engine that could, and I didn't read a single word. I read the title, he said okay, he started flipping pages, and what's that, mummy, what's this, mummy, what's that? You know, so... It just shows me that he doesn't care what I say, except for what he wants to know. So it's a different way of reading, for sure, uh, but it's just what works for us right now. And maybe once he has the patience and the comprehension to understand what I'm actually saying, maybe then will he be interested in having a full story read to him entirely. The other thing we do is we let him pick what he wants read to him. It's only fair. I mean, why read a story to your kid that they're going to despise and ignore you? And then it becomes a waste of everyone's time, really. So, another one he really enjoys that we got recommended from a friend. Dinosaurs Love Underpants. It's a rhyming story. It's really cute and funny. And it's about... Uh, I can read you the back of it. Pretty sure I won't get sued for it. Dinosaurs were all wiped out a long way back in history. 
No one knows quite how or why. Now this book solves the mystery. Uh, laugh your pants off as T-Rex and the gang wrestle for their very own pair of prehistoric pants in a mighty pants war. The hilarious follow-up to Aliens Love Underpants, uh, Richard and Judy's children's books winner. I may have to get the Aliens Love Underpants book now. But anyway, another fantastic book. It kind of rhymes. Uh, he tends to repeat some words that sound similar to another, so that's also really handy. And of course the pictures are number one for him. It's the biggest importance. Uh, M-Girl is quite similar. She has no interest in sitting for a long time for story time, but something like Snuggle Puppy she really enjoys because, you know, there's we make sound effects, you know, there's like, woohoo, Snuggle Puppy of mine, and then you make kissing sounds and all that. So it's a really great way to, you know, be physical as well and uh, do actions, make up your own actions to go with the lyrics or the words of the book. Anyway, so that's how we're we're trying to, you know, educate our kids through reading. Uh, both Hubster and I really enjoy reading. Usually I've been reading on my Kindle because it's just easier, but I do enjoy <laughs> going to the library and uh, we try to take the kids to the library about once a week or so. You know, it gives them the chance to uh, borrow books, they learn how to scan books, how to return books, how to take care of things that aren't theirs, and of course how to read, you know, somehow. So yeah, that's that's our goal, you know, to try and get them to read a little bit every day, and I really think it's it's really important for kids to learn how to read. I mean, if you can't read, it's a tough world out there without it. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, and tomorrow is Friday, so I'll have a Q&A video up for you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye!